Oh, fucking shit. What the fuck? Just sudden boom into your face. Good lord. Alright. Uh, anyways, uh, good day to all and one out there. My name is Quasar, and welcome to a game called The Hunting God. I think I actually need to do a little bit of audio. Ha. <clears throat> Aside from that, I don't actually know what the game is about. Hold on, let me look at the tags. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a walking simulator. So... It's uh, it's made by the same people that made uh, Bottle and Nefisi. Those are two games that I've played before as well. Let's just start. Let's just get it over with. But... I'll say as I will most likely say with everything else. Is the fact that walking simulators are not directly games. They're more of rather what games can look like. They're like only visual like showcase or storytelling. Where is this place? Storytelling this is like now. My mind has been clouded by a thousand ravens. Where's the and subtitles? Where's the million mountains? My tractor, where are you? And the demon? Is he no more? Oh, Seraph, what are you airing? That he have wielded your celestial rule to renew Wait. me with life and revive my it's spirit. It's subtitles. Then let me go back in time. I turn back to on. where our story truly began. Do you have? Oh, I can move. Oh shit! Ow! Oh, I didn't know. Can I go deeper? No. So I need to use the environment to go up. That's annoying, but fine. Oh, good lord! Why? What? What is this? What is with the glare? What? That doesn't make sense. Oh, and that makes sense. Fine, but. Uh, this this don't make sense. What the hell? Also, this no, the sensitivity is actually pretty good. Ah, this feels much smoother. Okay, so uh, the FPS limit was on uh, thirty FPS. It, it did look a bit. Um, my name is choppy. Nordens, and I'm the god of hunting on my isles. One day, when I was traveling in the forest of Banager, I caught a glimpse uh, of some a nearby deer. However. They were not the no. only beings that caught my attention. A white wolf was nearing our mutual prey when a few mortals entered my canvas. Right, you say. Some mortals. So we're 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 in the, the, the in the, the footsteps of a god, a hunting god. So that's that explains the name of the game. I mean, that's, that's, that's fine. Are you like... Uh, well, it's a, it's a story, okay? It's it's a walking simulator. It's it's a thing that you could just be there. It's, it's, it's just something you walk through. You have a little bit of a story, maybe. You don't have to, of course. Not every game needs to have a story, per se. Some, some games have, like, a free-for-all and, like... They're like uh, war games and all that, but uh, aside from that, uh, hello, there's some deer. Do you run from me? No, 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 I'm the hunting god. I, uh... Hey, how you doing? Also, I don't know why I'm jumping. I don't know if it makes me faster or not, so it's, it's really just pointless. Hmm. But there does seem to be a lot of space in this game. Oh god, the frame rate is dropping. Right. I was swift to spawn a whirlwind of arrows and dismay the humans. Yet when I kneeled down beside the brute, it had already seen the unholy end of a poison arrow. With my healing uh -huh. powers, I made haste to aid my new companion, who in turn told me her name. Dryocta. Dryocta. Okay, that's not that fantastic of a name, or at least not in English. Hmm. Interesting. So, I really don't understand the idea of, like, when it comes to a god of, like, hunting, a type of deity that represents, like, hunting and, like, survival or whatever, it, they, al they always seem to be extreme friends with the, um, Animals like I understand the hunter being a little bit like uh, uh, Carefree and a little bit like respectable towards 
the animals that they hunt, basically. But aside from that, I I've never heard of anyone being so so friendly with them. When it comes to like uh, the those types of gods of uh, hunts and all of that, that's my only gripe with those types of characters. I knew instantly that she was of an otherworldly nature by dint of her here. uncommon color. She told me that she could, with me, partake in the creation of visions, allowing me a peek into my destiny, and perhaps later, the end of my eternity. For many full moons she was my lucky charm, and I was her distinguished overseer. The souls of the woods flocked around her as if she was Abnoba herself. It was only Ooh. later on that I learned that she not only attracted other animals, but also beasts. Hmm. I see. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that's not blinding at all, isn't it? Oh, that doesn't look that bad. Ah, oh, that might be my thumbnail, considering there's a statue right there. Is that, is that a statue of me? That's me, as in the person I'm playing? Which I'm going to assume is this hunting god. Hmm, interesting. Uh, named after achievement unlocks priest. I don't know how to pronounce that. Interesting, interesting. It's it's it's, it's okay. It's uh, it's world building. Sure, sure. It's uh, it's a bit of lore. A little bit. I thought for a moment that was a unicorn because of the white coat, but then I realized no, no, there are actually horses with white coats. <laughs> I mean, sure. Feeling blessed about Slap some wings on it. Kinship, I went out hunting with her some more. Yet, I can hop on your back. How weary she grew of my efforts to annex meat from deer and other animals in the forest. In fact, she treasured no better luxury than to survey my peaceful landscape and the swans on the pond with meditative demeanor. Gathering carrots for the wild horses was also something she glorified in. In truth, it was obvious to me that the act of slaying was deemed time-worn as opposed to the deed of loving by her. Bayer. <laughs> what accent is that? Scottish? It might not be. Uh, I mean, I'm not being offensive. Oh, well. Be, take it as you may if it's offensive to you or not, but I'm not trying to be. I really don't know if that ac what that accent is. It feels if it, it, it feels Scottish, all right, to me at least. Interesting. So that tree thing was that just a visual thing? That's a bit annoying. I, th I thought I was gonna like walk on it or walk through it if it was like a hollow log or something, but. I mean, walking through a log isn't that cool, but um, yeah, it would create some uh, visuals at least. That's basically what walking simulators are supposed to do. They're supposed to show exactly what, um, let's say, the developer. Let's say you make a walking simulator, and is uh, that's basically not directly a game because it's not that engaging us uh, outside of like visuals. And in this case, a little bit of a story, but it's just talking. It's a bit of a talkative story, and. A little bit with the statue, a little bit of world building there, but all in all, in some reality, what? Dad, now I recall. Oh, come on. The soaring wall of Nanto Sulta, she of Winding River and Sundry. Nanto Valley. Sulta. I vividly remember uh. how the free thinkers tried to turn her image into that of a Daruga Dua, yet were taken by my mother's Anu's elite horde of the Tuatha Dei Danann. Now, how many deer have I heeded so far? What? Huh? All right. So you 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 sort of. Uh, I mean, it's fine to have your own like uh, made-up words and such. Uh, they might not be made up, and I'm just being a complete ass and ignorant here. But you you sort of need to ease people into the use of words like that. Like, you can't just slap on, like, a 20 words at once. You have to use, like, one. And then maybe you use two or three. And then you go up to four, and then five. You sort of have to make it seem like it's actually in the world, but you have to ease people into it so they can, like, immerse themselves into the story so they can understand that those words have some sort of meaning. 
but when it comes to this, when you're just slapping them out there, a lot of them at once, well, they sort of feel meaningless and just like you threw it in there just to be special. That's a, that's that's a thing. What? Never. Never. Okay. Truly. <laughs> oh, yeah, what you huh? Okay. I don't get it. Alright. Cool. Anyways, we'll just continue. It's just never. Never. Truly. Huh? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know it's a puzzle saying, like, no, no, and yes, but. The mortal of my land oh, too recognized Dryocta's clemency. And noted how she exerted her prophecy to reveal when the weather was changing. If the sun performed the next day, she would be elated for her omen. If the skies ere long would open with the tears of my clan, she would hide in a hollow. And all the mortals considered that amusing. I, on the other hand, believed her to be a benediction regardless. But one day, as in all good tales, something happened. The fuck does benediction mean? It means the utterance of a blessing, especially at the end of a religious service. Or a prayer asking for divine blessing. Alright, fine. It's, uh, it's, it's getting me to learn some words. Great. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad. Benediction. It's, uh, although, it does sound like an addiction. So, mm, when you think deeper into it, it sort of feels like uh, someone's having a bit of a addiction to... Uh... <laughs> I, I have addiction to God's blessing. I had only assembled all of the earthlings for a celebratory cave bear hunt when we encountered the mountain dragon, League Nap Haste, in the forest. Legend had it, it was invulnerable. My wolf, however, snuck over to the sleeping giant to investigate. And suddenly there are magical magical creatures. I mean, sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> it's a it's a thing at least. It's like hmm. <sighs> the previous creature of a horse it was it was not the um, unicorn that I expected it to be or that I saw it to be at first, but uh, ah. I see. Don't step on the fucking branches. And it vanished, as if struck by magic. All the men ah, roared so with laughter. So it was supposed to again. just disappear. Still, Dryocta howled as if something was horribly amiss. Yet the men would not give heed to her elegy and charged at the bear cave as men do. The air, though, felt as if it had been corrupted by something sinister. Ah, sorry, I farted. <laughs> <laughs> the air was corrupted by something sinister. Ah, sh just, just, just think of a god going like, ah, shit, I farted. What happened to that cave? <laughs> oh, it's great. You know, you know, having a ridiculous story about um, all-powerful beings. Ah, that's what I want. I, w I want that type of story. Maybe a little bit of a show of like, I'm the god of trees. Ah, shit, the branch just hit me. What the fuck, mate? With the, with the walls of bushes that seem to be very widespread, I'm guessing I can't go this way? Yeah, okay. Hello? Anyone here? No, this is a walking simulator. It's not supposed to do anything. You could, you could add a little bit of a danger. All aside from the fucking dragon that you had to watch out for some, uh, stabbing on some branches or some sticks. But, uh, aside from that, it's, um... There's not really much to uh, these types of games because, like, like I said before, you, you, they, they don't really, uh, they're more of a showcase, okay? That's why I don't particularly like them. Four berserkers aimed their arrows at something in the blackness. The leader right. drew the captured Cleave Zulish. I had bestowed upon him and ventured forth with valor. Soon a cry from him was read when my faction arrived. We witnessed them. Two werewolves. 
who had massacred the cave bears and devoured them like cats versus mice. Nevertheless, a light in their eyes persuaded me they had protected their human acumen. Hope. Drowned in sorrow. All of a sudden, Dryocta gifted them a small number of novel flowers, and thus they were remade as men once again. I mean, I, I might be just talking out of my ass here because I haven't really been paying that much attention to the story, but from what I see, he's just, he's just telling a little bit of, he did this one day, and then he did that one day, and then, yeah, I met these people. It, it sounds like a little bit of a... Uh... The transformed villagers looked around in the craze for a few minutes, puzzled and momentarily distorted. Once they realized they were human again, they embraced each other as if they had made it to Anwin itself. They were a bit abashed by Dracta though, and I did not understand that. It's perfectly sensible to be afraid of the dark, but light. Typical of whites to be misread merit. Typical of whites. It was written differently, but... <laughs> Typical of whites. You know those white people. So typical to be afraid of the light. Well, actually, that wouldn't be the case. I mean, most uh, most white people are so pale that the uh, sunlight would um, bounce off them. So I, I don't think they would even be able to see light. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I should really just listen to the story instead of just going, "Hmm, I don't like this part because it's suddenly there." Ah, shit. You know, I'm. I'm I'm not. Uh, I'm not a. I, I don't call myself an expert in anything. It, it's, it's not what I'm saying. It's just how I interpret these games. Is what my scores are. There's. There's no reason for you to uh, really follow them. There's no reason for you to uh, even take them into consideration when you are playing this game. I'm simply here, just playing the game and just. <clears throat> just experiencing it because I like found it it's, it's just because I like saw it in my library because apparently I might have bought it like a couple of years ago and then suddenly it's like huh what's this huh let me play it and then I just recorded it because I have uh, some ridiculous reasons to do so well actually I say ridiculous reasons but the the real reason is just because I want to play more games but I'm not really motivated to do it on my own so I record the video, uh, the the games instead, and that's a thing, you know. That's it's, it's it's a thing. Normally, men are cursed to roam as foul miscreations of divine punishment because they need to atone for their wickedness. But these men were certainly as respectable as Gofanon himself, who crafted my silver hand after my initial was sliced off by the dragons I imprisoned beneath Gwyneth. They stated that there had once been farm in the land. And that was the only thing they relived. They didn't know how they got to be in this place, let alone who or what brought them here. But in my heart, I had a feeling. Oh, this, this looks good. Like that's that's well done. The fog, the fog is the thing that like oh, it's fading to black. Oh shit. The the fog is what, what like brings it together. What like makes it look good. That's that's uh, not the best loading screen, but uh, it's uh, it's there at least. Oh, good gracious. What is happening? What, what is this? Can I go backwards? That's probably an invisible barrier because people love to do that, don't they? No? Oh, there it is. There it is. Invisibly barrier. It's uh, really annoying. I could understand an invisible barrier as like, oh no, there's a force field here, but then I normally have a little bit of an effect on the barrier to show that uh, there's something there. But it just it just breaks a little bit uh, of the like immersion to the l the landscape. Invisible barriers. It's just like the next week, Dryoxer summoned a dire precursor, Ugh. a demon by the name of Crom Kruach. And his band of werewolves, Kronach Falad, were dishonoring a small village into human sacrifice as he wanted the magic possessed by my vats. I saw the blood of the innocent slither through the cracks of the land beneath them. I could not bear the sights of my own disciples butchered. 
Kram Kruach was one of the last diabolical forces left in my sphere, and if he and his underlings were not silenced, it could mean the end of these regions forevermore. You know, by hearing these uh, words, they might be just a different language, so uh, I was bashing on them for using just random words for nothing, but uh, even if it is, uh, my point still stands. If if it is a different language, you should, like, explain in your games that it, it, it comes from a different language, just to sh Why is it green? Why is it green? I mean, aside from the, like, Aurora Borealis... Well, actually, the moon shouldn't be visible that high and that close where the Aurora Borealis shows. But aside from that... Uh, normally, the moon gives off either yellow or blue light because because I forgot the reason why, but I, I think it, I think it was yellow or blue. Ah, it only has d d like blue light when it's just surrounded by like blue light in the atmosphere. Bow of Gandiver would not Otherwise, be enough it's to exile this arch fiend. I turned to the druidess, Magruth, a master of theoranthropy, who told me to wait for her by the river of Owenrich at midnight, and so I did, with Draakta and my preferred paladins, under the aura of the stars and the stoicism of the moonlight. Mm -hmm. When I arrived, I eyed the most harrowing of scenes, seemingly honest men clenching black witch flowers to their hearts and drinking from the waters which had emerged with the dark color of obsidian. Uh, 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 excuse <laughs> yeah, I'm not making fun of his accent. I just didn't expect him to say obsidian instead of obsidian. <laughs> okay. Like, fair play to you, but it's just unexpected. Uh, okay, anyways. <laughs> Right. That makes me wonder how uh, uh, other like accents pronounce obsidian, if he pronounce, uh, pronounces it obsidian. A uh, young girl loved by every native were attending her to sheep with a dog and dated an old man who had business to weep. A farmer spotted a wolf in the moonlight and shot his bow behind his barn. The victim of the night, the old man lifeless but smiling even so. You. Alright. I see. I see. I mean, this does look good, like, with the moon and everything, and the Aurora Borealis, but I don't think, um, I really don't believe it would be like that. I mean, this could be, like, an alien planet, sure. Oh, hi. How you doing? I mean, I was gonna say, should I run away or something, but no, apparently not. We're just, uh, a bunch of werewolves, you know, just... Excuse me, was that everything? Am I okay now? I mean, I am supposed to be the hunting god, supposedly, but uh, aside from that, am I really okay? Was that everything? <laughs> it was a bit unexpected. I sort of expected myself to like, um, like die per se, like, or at least like uh, go to my previous checkpoint. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, it's a bridge. I a bridge. A, crank a bridge. To lower this bridge. What? What am I? Oh, I didn't read. Fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. I didn't pay attention. Fuck. Yeah, that's a problem with me doing these things. I don't pay attention to the to what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, there's a thing. I wonder ah. why this was dethroned. I see. Or is this just a chimera? I cannot seem to animate this anamnesis. Anamnesis? What? Da -da -da. I like that. I, I like that. Splendid. So, where are you, Triactor? Shut up. I'm trying to speak. What transpired here at this forsaken site? I, I, I like it when games allow you to walk over the bridge even though it's not all the way down instead of like 
there's a barrier uh, before you, it's fully down. Ancient incarnations seeking to banish the twilight and hail the sun, thereby stopping the warped pietism. But alas, she was not the only one there. Crom Cruach and the Banshee Goddess, Cleodha, broke Mug's glamour and my saintly endowment with their primordial force, and with one rapid hex, the Banshee sent Mug flying into the dark waters. And thus, she was lost. Blackguards, may the gates of Tirnanu never open to you. The werewolves were too many for my soldiers and Dryoxia and her flowers, so we fled. <laughs> what was the gay called? Tiranonoki? Anyways, um, hello. Can I just can I sprint? No, I, st I still can't do that. I I'm clicking everything. That's my jump button. I I, I don't believe there's any game that uh, makes sprinting the uh, makes space power the sprinting button. I mean, there could be. I, I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm not saying there isn't. I'm just saying I haven't really come across one. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think anyone is that far off from the uh, the universal um, controls of WASD shift space uh, shift control and space. But um, aside from that, hmm. Anything here? Is there gonna be more werewolves? Or am I done with those? Did I kill them? Did I kill them all? <laughs> now, see, here's here's the thing. I don't, I don't understand what was the point with that. I mean, sure, it could have been visual storytelling, but I'm really lost on what that was supposed to be. So. For now, I'm just gonna say, hmm, that was kind of pointless. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't want to read that. Uh, what is happening? I sense sorcery beyond my bent. Beyond your bent? What? What is your bent? Bellissima, is this your domain? The Can't sinner move. here is indeed akin to your inner fire. I thank you for reflecting the sortilege and diverting me to this sound shrine away from that malignant murk. How do I retreat back to my hunt after this? Most welcome of respites. Oh, you desire my service to marry the light of the moon with that of the sun? Accepted. Now, where are the candles? X fuck, excuse me? What? Water. Can I not? Oh, that's not a candle. Air. Oh, the four Earth. elements. Is that what you said? And then there's gonna be fire. The fire. There we go. Are we done? Ether. Ether. Oh yeah, the fifth element, right? Now, please let these flambo abate naturally. As I need to tell you what will befall the seafarers if you do not, present my finest regards to my father. Oh, hello. I met a Taoist master once. Ah, he too bright. To that while he had devoted five years to the strife of reaching my isles in the hopes of finding his daughter, he had taught himself my language. Moreover, in his own realm, he had been worshipped for his philosophy. But seeing as his lands fell into moral decay, he soon elected to journey westward. I was childless, so I was unskilled in the discussion of his lineage. He did right. not know, of course, of the true nature of these barbaric hamlets, for he arrived. Okay, there's a bit of a different art style here, just... Our cultural disparities were soon beheld when he was bedeviled quite heavily by some warriors. At one particular time, he was reportedly surrounded by three heroes who did not want to be converted by his guidance. But when I came by and identified only him, I asked him where they were. He professed that they were now in a greater place, far, far away, beyond these shores. A 
as a sign of good faith. I blessed him with the ring of Alund the Fortunate to cloak him with the fifth fiarder, a mist of invisibility. In return, he heralded that if I looked for a white angel in the forest of Banager, I would secure sanctity. He then assured me he would spend the next five years attempting to uncover his anima anew. We parted to the tunes of the Elysian evening songs until the village ballader's voice gently faded. We searched for her for many moons, but apparently she was no more. Uh -huh. Is there a point to that? Is there a point to me knowing this? It's a story, sure. Sir, but... So many flowers. She sacrificed. Reawaken me. I wish to retrace my trail. One last time. Oh, good. There's more to it. Great. Not exactly. I'm not. I'm not that happy with this game that much. Like the previous two games were. Eh. I mean, bottle. Well, the, the second, the second bottle game. Uh, that one, that one was actually pretty, pretty okay for a walking simulator. That is, but uh, Nefisi, eh, it was, it was there. We dashed up the mountain of Boch Lane as fast as we possibly could. Our adventure was coming to an end. I felt it like fire fading from a feast. Looking back, I saw the League Nach Felad sees both warrior and wolf, an angel and a demon reside in all men even guards, including me. But what truly is of value is which side we feed our innermost wishes and allegiance to. Would the wolf venerate viability in the wilderness, whether willing without worriment? Yet I vow that she wavers betwixt our vocation and her withdrawal. Oh, am I supposed to walk all the way up there? Excuse me? Are you making me... Are you making me walk a pilgrimage? What the fuck? I never asked for that. What is this? Stuff. Alright. Alright, a lot of uh, weapons. Is Was this a battlefield? Is that what you're portraying? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a bird. With a see-through ass. Seraph. Is yeah, that hi, you? how you doing? No. Yes. Now I recall the event that befell my peak. Magruith returned as a deer and had apparently first assumed the form of a salmon to withstand the river. She conjured thunderstorms to perplex our defarmers and even turned some of the werewolves to stone. Yet, it was Dryocta who bequeathed my world the ultimate sacrifice. She put twelve of her flowers down on the ground and began to choir the most comely of songs. Eh? Uh -huh. Am I supposed to go to that? Oh, good lord. This is a long, long way to go. What the fuck is this? Strange. Oh, it's a flower. Ah. I suddenly sense an abrupt yen to reminisce about the ceremony. I in like manner as my heroine, harvesting twelve flowers and resting them on one of the blood-soaked amphoras the zealots had hauled up the cracks. Twelve flowers, of course. Alright, so I'm supposed to find twelve flowers? Is that what it is? And there's the last one. I wish I could sprint. Seriously. Let me let me move like 200 times faster. 200 times. Hmm. Would that make any difference with this slow ass speed? Hmm. I don't think so. Do I go for that or do I go for the uh, floating thing? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, I see. Most likely if I touched the floor or anything before that, I would have died. Uh, does it go all the way up there? Does it go all the way... Is, is that what you're saying? Do, do I go all the way down? Uh, like... Yeah. Apparently, she was versed in Krum Kruach's affinity with the Zodiac and his fear of the Corbade. This beckoned the sun to come forth and reshape all the Hellions into men once more. Krum Kruach and Cloyd had were also erased. For little did they know that Triocta had sub Rosa placed a geyser of light upon them by the river. However, the ensorcelled Elian of Triocta's trance hurled Mug away so she struck a boulder and blacked out. 
Dryocta herself was sent flying over the ledge of the mountain, and I too was deprived of existence. Right. Okay, the story feels a lot more solid now that I'm like listening to it, so yeah, I I could have been wrong earlier, but still, it uh, like you you don't really it's not really that much of a engaging story. It doesn't make me want to listen to it. Okay, where am I going? Up here. What is this? I, uh, okay, I, I feel like I go faster upwards if I jump, so I'm gonna just do it. Yeah, uh -huh. wonderful. Oh, I hit a hitbox that wasn't supposed to be there, most likely. In such wise must I cast my verdict? Is this true, Seraph? Permitted, the left path will reunite me with Mug, yet let my heavenly might remain expelled till death do us part, and the right shall adorn me with a chance to reform and join Dryocta in Ternanuk? Granted. Gift me a stage to vote, my guardian. Left path will reunite him, but the right will give him a secondary opportunity. So I have to choose. Right. But I mean, till death do us part, love and everything, right? That's that's what I'm getting from this. I mean, if I'm wrong, do well, whatever. I don't really, I don't really know exactly. Like this game isn't directly clear on exactly what it wants me to do. Oh, hello. What is the worth of life if devoid of love? Let us pray, you and I, that the gods will show us grace. I don't even know what I just did. What oh, the fuck? <laughs> sure. Okay, great. Okay, I'm just gonna go quickly over it. Concept-wise, it's pretty damn uh, <clears throat> mediocre. It's it's not terrible, but uh, it's not great either. It's still a bit annoying. I'll give it a bit of an 8.5, uh, no, 5.5, <laughs> okay? Moon, intermission, sun, oh good lord, I am not playing all that. Fuck you. <laughs> no. If if it's the same thing as the, the, the earth thing, then no. Atmosphere, pretty well done, pretty well done. Uh, 6.5. Fun-wise, there's not much to it. It's just a story and enjoyment of the visuals is something there, but aside from that, there's not much to it. So that's gonna get a f five points. Anyways, this is Bukwe as a and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Uh, That's a lot of birds.